after that 56 Bel Air right there today. Good looking car, it needs to be repainted and redone. It's an old car. How are we doing today, bud? I'm Donald. All right. What's going on with the old Chevy today? Uh, I don't know. You just put... He's my roommate. I'm just getting it out of here. I got gotcha. you. Yeah, he's, uh, he moved. I just let him do it. Take care of it. You got a place for it to go? Well, it looks like he's taking it over to uh, Diamond Muffler. There you go. Okay. There you go. Well, I, let, I, me, let me call him and find out what's going on with him. Okay. Because they got him down here as a basic member, so he's sure, going to sure. cost him some money to get it over there. Yeah, I'm sure it will. Yeah. It's a neat looking old car. Oh, it's a great car. I think the uh, hose broke on it. I okay, got you? Yeah, but it's got a big engine in it. It's really nice. But well, I don't have any keys to it. All right, well, let me call him and see what's going on with it then. All right, then. I'll move this other truck right out of your way. Oh, that truck's fine, bud. We'll just back it out here in the road and I'll hook it up out here. So we can figure this car out here. Oh, I ain't worried about all that. So what's going on with the car today? I need to tow it over to Diamond Muffler. Okay, okay. Are you going to go over there with me or? No. Uh, they're second. Okay. I want to pay you a load. Well, it's only going to be about $500 to get it over there. You know, it ain't a big deal, just money. Hold on, just back here and let me figure that out for you. Yeah, it looks like it's going to be right at 16 miles to get there. And you get uh, uh, three of that free, so that takes it down to 13. And 13 times four is 12. Four, five, 52 dollars. Okay. What's going on with the car today? Oh, it's just been sitting a long time. 52, you said? Yes, sir, please. So it doesn't run at all, or? The battery's probably dead. I need a carburetor. I got you. Well, if you don't mind helping me, let's see if we can push it out here in the road. Cause I gotta get a hold of the front end of that thing. Okay. You don't okay. want me taking it down the road back? Oh, well, here's a key for it. Well, you gotta unlock your thing, and you gotta one of the club things on there. And I think it's, it's all unlocked. Yeah, you got a club on the steering wheel and everything. Oh yeah. <laughs> All of them in one paw. You're like me, I got way too many keys. Pretty sure that's it. That's the, that's the uh, club. And the ignition. Well, let's get it out of the driveway here. Really don't need a key for the ignition on this old car, but. It probably just roll right out. Looks like it's going downhill. Ready? Yeah, I'm not pushing. Do I? Do I have to run and get the front end, it don't matter. Okay, I ran out of butt. Ran out of <laughs> uh, Yeah, I'm not pushing with my right arm, I'm pushing with my left hand. 
Not trying to tear up my shoulder again. Brakes work on this thing, I hope. But anywhere there it work. Is this good? It'll work anywhere. Clint Stopper. <coughs> little car is freaking heavy. What size motor you got in this thing? Oh, it's a 350 crate. 350 crate. You're a cool car to have, man. Yeah, I've been driving this thing for 20 years. Have you really? Excuse me. The reason why I use these soft straps for on these old antique cars for is if you look, there's really no place to hook these cars to. So it's best just hook them around the A arm and pull them up. That's why I use that soft strap. Plus, when you start hooking chains and stuff like that to people's 
old antique cars, man, they start having problems. People have attitudes. So when you bring out a soft strap, it just saves all that. You don't have people hollering at you thinking you scratched up your cars or anything. Oh boy, see, have been driving this car for 20 years. Got a 350 small block crate motor in it. Ain't been running in a while. It's that time of the year where everybody's going to start pulling these old cars out of the garages, you know, and we start hauling them off to the shops to get them fixed. Pretty neat old car. I mean, she's still in good shape. You see she's got some different colors on it. Got some rust on it here and there. Some paint flipping, flaking. It should be a neat old car to have, though. Well, if it was my car, I'd put a different frame underneath of it. Because the frames on these cars were pretty weak need. And you put something in these cars here with some power, and it just tweaked them frames. Do a disc brake conversion kit on it. This would be one. These would be one of the cars you'd actually spend the money and redo. These cars right here kind of hold their value. They're kind of high, highly sought after. You see a bunch of them on the road, but when you see them. They want a lot of money for them. Plus, who wouldn't want an old 55, 56, 57 Bel Air? Come on now. Anybody in their right mind would love to have one of these old cars. Well, like I said, she needs some work on her, but she's got character, don't she? She's got a lot of character. Right here? Yeah. I got you.
Just another day in paradise, Tony. Diamond mufflers over here in Lee Summit. Hello? I didn't realize there was a step there. Alright, thank you. Keep that thing, bud. Thanks, sir. Thank you, guys. <sighs> you know, but seriously, how cool would that be to have one of those Bel Airs? I think it'd be kick ass. I hope you guys are being safe out on the road today and being careful. You know what to do, like and subscribe. <laughs>